I wonder if it's Barov or Lich King. Probably Barov is better. Lucky, right? I mean, sometimes... Sometimes, um... Toki is not gonna play a minion here. Also, it took me a little bit because AFK had no skin. I'm used to seeing AFK on some skin. Leaving the Batagans rich life. I swear, I cannot even remember the last time I saw an FK without skin. Nothing against this guy, Giga Chad. Just something that I noticed. Leveling because the shop is trash. Okay, so Toki had Beast, Omu has Pirates. Pirate means that he's gonna buy another minion, so... He's favored. Ads got me. I went to check out the Samsung monitor I was uh, showing in the ads. I guess they work. I mean, did you think companies would spend, would spend billions and billions of dollars every single year if ads wouldn't work? Think about it like that. Obviously, it doesn't work for every company. And it works better for some companies than for other companies. I wonder if Vlantecn is worth buying. Free on free from ticket to makes this very easy. No rest for the weary hero. When you die, do you get the gigantic coffee mug as opposed to his usual normal sized coffee mug? Uh, this is like a mug that I use for tea. So for tea, I like a stronger, bigger mug. For coffee, I like something tiny, nice, classy. Out of porcelain. Or like a nice, uh, small glass. Hmm. You will burn. Maybe free free and taunt is better than um reborning it. FK buffed the shop like crazy. Hmm. Interesting spot. They're both still tavern too. The two roaches fight against each other. I'll say FK should win in this battle of roaches. No rest for the weary hero. Wasn't oil a good investment with how much gold you have saved up? Um, You're actually right. Maybe it was decent. Or more decent than I would give it credit. 
I can't believe I have to yog it up. I mean, he's not that bad. Whoa. Golden bird body is pretty sick. And we can level and take it. Little ones with big appetites. Egg? Scarfing or bandit? Maybe it's bandit. Uh, go on without me. Who did this? No rest for the weary here. Is Bran a better bet? Maybe Nuzofo's better. I didn't have enough time to think of my bed. Might have been a small fuck up. What's a build that's hard but super satisfying to pull off? Oh. Home? Dragons? Double Anvil? I agree with Double Anvil. Double Anvil is definitely clutch. Hmm. That one could be a game changer. Been here. How can he have 15 armor? Oh, it's a visual bug. He only has the 15 HP. The armor is a visual bug. Don't worry about it.
Toki is doing quite poorly. FK wasn't that strong. But she leveled... Oh, she leveled this turn after losing to me. Hmm. Toki might win this. She has to all in. Okay, I'm betting on Toki. You have unlocked your true potential. FK got a lot of value from the refiner. Yeah, but how much is that gonna matter? Need to cut the bird body. It's a good card, but we don't have enough beasts to milk it for value. Surveyor portrait seems really good with what we're doing here. I go to six. We're farming pretty efficiently. I think we shouldn't fuck around. Poor fuller girl. Oh, this can be good. Now that is what I call an upgrade. Clever choice. Seems good. We are milking hard. Love is going pretty fast, but I feel like uh, we got the right portraits. And it's funny that what gave us the direction was Egg giving us the Golden Bandit while we had Piper in the shop. Then we stayed one more time on 4 in a spot where maybe RDU from a few days ago would have uh, leveled to 5. And we found Rylek and Jazzer. So now we're just like scaling really nicely. With great power comes...
Will you take a Bach here? That's a question. Wow. How good is Agam? Is Agam really good here with Bramble Witch and shit? Do I get up Scallion or do I look for Cleave? I look for Cleave, right? Why don't you hire a new recruit? I am one with the thorns. Pick a new member for your team. I'm gonna pass on the Bach and get the Murloc Prince instead. You did what had to be done. <laughs> okay, should have played the gems faster. I realize that I just need to play the gems and I'm gonna win. It's too many stats. I sold my gem scaling because my gem scaling is irrelevant. One extra minion is a 100-100. Which just wins you the game. And I'm gonna try to replace him with like a better unit. So yeah, I was thinking too slowly here, but... This is definitely the right approach. You keep a bandit, you keep surveyor, you just play the gems and you go crazy. Should have just played like more gems and... I would have been a uh, GG. Uh, so basically, Gift Horse is good because it's a mech in a non-mech lobby. That's it. Beast, mech, Murloc. Eat Shop. Eat Shop is nice. For example, the foodie is pretty solid. Look at how many stats each and every activation is. I cannot buy foodie. Is it worth making anything golden? Maybe. Extra large minion coming your way. More stats. Why not? Carbonic copy was also interesting, but. Wow. This is definitely something. This Murloc guy was a 3-3 free free last turn. So like, my biggest mistake was uh, not playing 2 gems last turn. I overdrew 2 gems. That's a lot of stats, actually. If you look at like, all the minions, there's quite a lot of stats. In the grand scheme of things. You are doing so Okay, we are 1v1. This is so beautiful. Can't buy it. I'm board locked. I'm buying a second Agon because I'm trying to triple it. If it comes to it.
This feels truly special. No need to hold a gem. Trinket gives you gems. But what if the minion activates before the trinket? Or if you have start of turn minion, start of turn trinket, do you think uh, trinket activates first all the time? I don't know that. Okay, let's play then. And before it won't work, I'll blame Twishad. I thought it did and then minion triggered first. Oh my god. Oh my god. Rip. It could also be random. Like sometimes trinket goes first, sometimes minion goes first. I don't know if there's like a hard rule for it. Nice Fey Rigs. Looks like we won't find out. Dude, this was absurd. Diagama... Hot air combo was just absurd. <laughs> 